Physical activity and healthy sports are essential for our health and well-being. Appropriate physical activity and sports for all constitute one of the major components of a healthy lifestyle, along with healthy diet, tobacco-free life and avoidance of other substances harmful to health. Available experience and scientific evidence show that the regular practice of appropriate physical activity and sports provides people, male and female, of all ages and conditions, including persons with disability, with wide range of physical, social and mental health benefits. It interacts positively with strategies to improve diet, discourage the use of tobacco, alcohol and drugs, helps reduce violence, enhances functional capacity and promotes social interaction and integration. Physical activity is for an individual, a strong means for prevention of diseases and for nations a cost-effective methods to improve public health across the population. The world is witnessing a significant increase of the global burden of non-communicable diseases NCD, such as cardiovascular diseases, cancer, diabetes and chronic respiratory diseases. The increasing global epidemic of these diseases relates closely to respective changes in lifestyles mainly in tobacco use, physical inactivity and unhealthy diet. The 2002 World Health Report on Risks to Health, Promoting Healthy Living, highlights the significant contribution of these risk factors, including physical inactivity to the overall burden of NCD worldwide. The World Health Organization estimates that mortality, morbidity and disability attributed to major NCDs, currently accounts for approximately 60% of all deaths and 43% of the global burden of disease. They are expected to raise to 73% of all deaths and 60% of the global burden of disease by 2020, already today in the entire world, with the exception of sub-Saharan Africa, chronic diseases are now the leading causes of death. Unhealthy diets, caloric excess, inactivity, obesity and associated chronic diseases are the greatest public health problem in most countries in the world. Overall physical inactivity is estimated to cause 1.9 million deaths globally. Physical inactivity causes globally, about 10-16% of cases each of breast cancer, colon and rectal cancers and diabetes mellitus, and about 22% of ischemic heart disease. The risk of getting a cardiovascular disease increases up to 1.5 times in people who do not follow minimum physical activity recommendations. Thus the world witnesses the burden of NCDs moving to poorer and poorer countries. Chronic NCDs are no more diseases of affluence. These diseases and their risk factors are moving to lower socioeconomic population groups. NCDs are therefore becoming the greatest contributors to inequity in health. The high burden of NCDs, especially in the developing world, means a double burden to health services. In addition to human suffering this means great costs and problems in terms of social development. The financial resources of developing countries are very limited to respond to the great number of NCDs by curative services. Prevention of these diseases through physical activity and healthy lifestyles, based on strong medical evidence, is the most cost-effective and sustainable way to tackle these problems and to support positive social development. A combination of improper diet, insufficient physical activity and tobacco use are estimated to be the cause of up to 80% of premature coronary heart disease. In populations as diverse as in China, Finland and in the USA, several ethnic subgroups, studies have shown that even relatively moderate changes in lifestyle, especially by increasing physical activity and improving diet, are sufficient to prevent the development of almost 60% of type 2 diabetes cases. It is likely that one-third of cancers can be prevented by maintaining a healthy diet, normal weight and physical activity throughout one's life. The unfavorable trend continues. At the same time the level of overweight and obesity is rapidly growing worldwide, in developed and developing countries also among young people. While lack of food is a major issue in some segments of society, data show that caloric excess, unbalanced diet, physical inactivity, obesity and the chronic diseases that they spawn are equally dangerous. The affected population with obesity has increased with epidemic proportions, with more than 1 billion adults worldwide overweight and at least 300 million clinically obese. Physical activity is in key position for weight control. In the United States, obesity causes 300,000 deaths annually, a number exceeded only by deaths related to tobacco. A higher rate of obesity is found in many countries of Latin America, the Middle East and Asia. 
Some island nations of the Western Pacific have especially high rates of obesity. In China, an estimated 200 million people could become obese in the next 10 years. It should also be emphasized that physical inactivity, like diet, does not lead to NCDs only through obesity. The health benefits of physical activity and a healthy diet take place through many other mechanisms besides influencing weight control. Worldwide, more than 60% of adults do not engage in sufficient levels of physical activity which are beneficial to their health. Physical inactivity is more prevalent among women, older adults, individuals from low socioeconomic groups, and the disabled. Physical activity also decreases with age during adolescence, and this decline continues throughout the adult years. In many countries, developed and developing, less than one-third of young people are sufficiently active to benefit their present and future health. Female adolescents are less active than male adolescents. Decreasing physical activity and physical education programs in schools is an alarming trend worldwide. At the same time, high body mass index, obesity, overweight, rates are increasing among young people as well as among middle-aged adults. This is related in part to lack of physical activity in leisure time, but is even more likely the result of people spending increasing amounts of time in sedentary behaviors such as watching television, using computers, and excessive use of passive modes of transport, cars, buses and motorcycles. Sedentariness is consuming a great deal of people's time, and the health consequences are significant. Regular physical activity, active play and sports can be a practical means to achieving numerous health gains, either directly or indirectly through its positive impact on other major risks, in particular high blood pressure, high cholesterol, obesity, tobacco use and stress. Physical activity reduces the risk of cardiovascular disease, some cancers and type 2 diabetes. These benefits are mediated through a number of mechanisms, in general, it improves glucose metabolism, reduces body fat and lowers blood pressure. Physical activity may reduce the risk of colon cancer by effects of prostaglandins, reduced intestinal transit time, and higher antioxidant levels. Physical activity is also associated with lower risk of breast cancer, which may be the result of effects on hormonal metabolism. Participation in PA can improve musculoskeletal health, control body eight, and reduce symptoms of depression. Much of the health gain is obtained through of at least 30 minutes of cumulative moderate physical activity every day. This level of activity can be reached through a broad range of appropriate and enjoyable physical activities and body movements in people's daily lives, such as walking to work, climbing stairs, gardening, dancing, as well as a variety of leisure and recreational sports. Physical activity also has economic benefits especially in terms of reduced health care costs, increased productivity, healthier physical and social environments. Economic consequences of physical inactivity affect individuals, businesses and nations. Data from developed countries indicate that the direct costs of inactivity are enormous. In the USA, an investment of one United States dollar time and equipment leads to three United States dollars and 20 cents in medical cost savings. Physically active individuals save an estimated 500 United States dollars per year in health care costs according to 1998 data. The costs associate with inactivity and obesity accounted for some 9.4 percent of the national health expenditure in 1995. Inactivity alone may contribute as much as US$75 billion United States dollars to U.S. medical costs in the year 2000. Workplace physical activity programs in the USA can reduce short-term sick leave by 6-32%, reduce health care costs by 20-55%, and increase productivity by 2-52%. In Canada, physical inactivity costs about 6% of total health care cost. In companies with employee physical activity programs, initiatives, the benefit of US$513 per worker per year can be reached from changes in productivity, absenteeism, turnover and injury. No data are available from the developing world. Although presently the costs may still be lower, they are increasing. Reduction of this kind of avoidable costs is, however, potentially important, especially in the developing world with great scarcity of resources. Regular physical activity provides young people with substantial physical, mental and social health benefits. 
Regular practice of physical activity helps children and young people to build and maintain healthy bones, muscles and joints, helps control body weight, helps reduce fat and develop efficient function of the heart and lungs. It facilitates developing the skills of movement and helps prevent and control the feelings of anxiety and depression. Engagement in play and sports gives young people opportunities for natural self-expression, self-confidence, relief of tension, achievement, social interaction and integration as well as for learning the spirit of solidarity and fair play. These positive effects also help counteract the risks and harm caused by the demanding, competitive, stressful and sedentary way of life that is so common in young people's lives today. Involvement in properly guided physical activity and sports can also foster the adoption of other healthy behavior including avoidance of tobacco, alcohol and drug use and violent behavior as well as the adoption of healthy diet, adequate rest and better safety practices. Some studies show that among adolescents, the more often they participate in physical activity, the less likely they are to use tobacco. It has also been found that children who are more physically active showed higher academic performance. Team games and play promote positive social integration and facilitate the development of social skills in young children. Patterns of physical activity acquired during childhood and adolescence are more likely to be maintained throughout the lifespan, thus providing the basis for active and healthy life. On the other hand, unhealthy lifestyles, including sedentary lifestyle, poor diet and substance abuse, adopted at a young age are likely to persist in adulthood. Ample participation in play, games and other physical activities, both in school and during free time, is essential for the healthy development of every young person. Access to safe places, opportunities and time, and good examples from teachers, parents and friends are all part of ensuring that children and young people move for health. Schools have unique opportunities to provide adequate physical activity for all young people on equal basis through official compulsory physical education programs as well as through school sport programs and after school leisure time physical activity initiatives.